Doc, I hope you get this. Remember how my Uncle Woodrow wanted to search for aliens at the center of the Earth? Well, things didn't exactly go as planned. We got trapped underground. And when my family, the bots, and even Optimus Prime came to rescue us, the cavern collapsed and everyone got separated. Now Dad, Uncle Woodrow, Chase, and I are stuck down here and separated from the others. If you get this message, Doc, please send help. Fast. Oh, come on. I set your GPS coordinates for Doc Green's lab. Now get going. Sorry, son. It was a good idea, but satellite tech won't work this deep underground. Comlinks either. Well, we'll just have to find the rest of the family using only our wits and courage. It's an adventure. It's irresponsible, which is why I was against this subterranean joyride to begin with. You know, Charlie, you'll never learn anything if you don't leave the island once in a while. I don't need to get burned to know that fire is hot. Speaking of which, sir, I seem to have... But apparently I need to tunnel underground to discover my brother is living with aliens. Ahem. Chief, I am sorry to say... Discover? I told you! Yeah, it took you long enough. Dad, look! Moldy guacamole. Actually, I believe it is lava. And it's blocking our only way out. A routine patrol with four bats and stasis. You stay in the in the strangest of places. Earth was their home now, and in addition, Optimus Prime gave them this mission. Learn from the humans, serve and protect. Live in their world, earn their respect. must have tapped into one of Mount Magma's tunnels. Chase, vehicle mode. Woody, Cody, inside. Are you aliens lava proof? Unfortunately, no. However, all rescue bots are trained for emergency evacuation procedure. He means tighten your seatbelt. Pajamas. I was unaware that Mr. Pettipaws had sleeping attire. It's an expression, Chase. Uncle Woodrow's impressed. Let's save the congratulations until we're out of danger and we've located the others. Oh, Charlie. Can't you ever just enjoy the moment? Not when I'm trying to keep my family safe. Chase, can you jump it? Negative. And this may be an opportune time to mention that motion sickness bags may be found in my center console. Power up and energize! <laughs> Sorry, Uncle Woodrow. Riding in bots takes some getting used to. Was that maneuver worthy of feline night clothing? Absolutely, Chase. I just hope we haven't strayed too far away from the rest of the team. How far down do you think that goes? I have no desire to find out. Heatwave, I have been impressed with your accomplishments on Griffin Rock. Thank you, sir. My team has learned a lot working with our human partners. Are you still interested in joining my ranks on the mainland? We would be honored. I need to ask the other bots first, but... I am only inviting you. <laughs> With all due respect, sir, you asked me to lead my team. If I leave them behind, I'm not only failing them, but you as well. That is what I hoped you would say. Leadership requires placing others' needs in front of your own ambitions. I am pleased you have learned that, Heatwave. Uh, thanks. 
I think. It appears you have set some form of machinery in motion. A volcano. Oh, the shaft must be part of Mount Magma. The humans made it. Don't ask me why. Likely the same logic that went into the pogo stick. Look. Daylight. This lever must have opened the top of the volcano. We can climb out of it. Now all that remains is finding the rest of your team and returning with them to this spot. Which passage should we attempt first? Cody taught me how humans decide. Eeny, meeny, miny. Mo, try over here, Boulder. Nope. This wall is solid rock, too. I could have told you that by looking at it. Ah. Face it, Graham, we're stuck in here. Well, if we have to be stuck, at least it's in this place with magical glowing walls. Uh, blades? That's fungus. Ew! Get it off! Get it off! You know, Dad's probably searching for the rest of the team by now. He'll find us. An optimist will get us out. What makes you think they aren't all trapped, too? <clears throat> there! My sonic imaging detects a hollow chamber on the other side of this surface. Good job, Boulder. Yes, yeah, super helpful. Except for the solid rock wall in the way. We're engineers. We make doors. Ready, Boulder? You might want to cover your ears. Fire in the shovel. <laughs> Tickles. Whoa. Incredible. Hmm, high saline content. This is seawater. But how could it be part of the ocean? We're underground. Seismic activity changes the landscape over time. This water must have gotten trapped down here millions of years ago. That's not the only thing that was trapped. Pterodactyl! Amazing! Um, Fascinating. Huh? Great. So I guess Boulder sonar doesn't detect dinosaurs. Technically, that's a flying lizard. Technically, we're lunch. It hasn't seen us yet. Blades, let's do some recon. I think I see another tunnel across the water. Um, you want me to get in the air when there's a terror doctor up there? Pterodactyl and we'll fly low. Almost there, Blades. I have to admit, it does feel nice to stretch my rotors. Bro! Blades! Get higher, now! Seaside vacation spot, a bad review. Negative five stars. We need to find a safer cavern. No, whoa, wait. How do you know there are not even bigger dinosaurs looking for a fight on the other side of that wall? Just, just turn off your sonic doohickey, unless you can use it to find Dad. Maybe we can. If I adjust my sound waves to compensate for the rock's frangibility... And we use the natural cavern acoustics to boost amplitude... Is that what it sounds like to everyone else when we talk? Yeah, with more pop culture references. So, you aliens don't sleep, 
Now, do you eat? Uh, uh, not as humans do. Well, that answers my next question. Hold up. I don't want us getting any more lost than we already are. Chase, you stay with Cody and Woodrow. I'll take a rope and scout ahead. I'll help. It'll go faster if we search two passages at once. No. I don't need you running off and playing explorer. <sighs> Is this about the time you got lost in the forest? I was rescuing you. Who said I wanted to be rescued? You did. You called me on the walkie-talkie. Did not. Did too. Did not. Did too. You crazy. I remember. I am confused. I thought Chief had reconciled his differences with his brother. It's like me and Cade. We don't always agree, but blood is thicker than water. I was unaware that fluid viscosity was involved. It just means that deep down, brothers would do anything for each other. Perhaps you should remind them of that fact. And don't get me started about the time you stole my stopwatch. Borrowed! Hey, Burns family! You can argue once we're all safe above ground, but now we need to work together to get there. You're right, son. Sorry we got so sidetracked. Pinky truce? <laughs> Pinky truce. I am happy to hear that your blood is thick, sir. Whoa! Is that an earthquake? It almost sounds like drumming. Morse code. Hurry, it's coming from over here. It's your transport. Help me pull it free. Spark. <laughs> energon. A deposit of energon this rich is invaluable. I only wish we had found it under more positive circumstances. That sounds like Boulder. We're coming down! Woodrow, be careful. That rock doesn't look very strong. <laughs> it's fine, Charlie. Don't be such a worry wart. If due caution defines a wart, I am proud to be one. Yeah, you know what they say about curiosity and the cat. Did it involve pajamas? We agreed to stick together from now on, remember? I know, I'm sorry. But there's nothing to be afraid of. <laughs> Extinction is no excuse for ignoring the law. The pterodactyl has him pinned down. We have to distract it. Blades, what are you doing? You're hurt. You can't fly high enough to save them. I know, but I can fly high enough to get someone who will. Glad you're okay. Next time, can we go to Hawaii for our family trip? Blades, that was noble! How'd you know the fish could get the pterodactyl to leave us alone? I was inspired by Uncle Woodrow. Yeah. Ever since he arrived, 
Chief's been so busy fighting with him, they ignore everything else. Oh, not exactly a compliment. No, but a fair observation. Now what, a Triceratops? Heatwave, you're okay? I mean, uh, hey. We've received your signal. Is everyone safe? For the time being. <laughs> the sooner we can get home, the better. Then follow us, Chief. We found the way out. And a lot more. Wow. Ooh, wow. Shiny. Oh, goodness. Amazing. Oh, no. Sufficiently impressive. Incredible. So, this is all pure Generon? Energon. It is the fuel and lifeblood that flows within us. Isn't it a little solid for that? This is unrefined Energon. And in this state, it is highly combustible. Maybe we'd better keep moving. Yeah, where's this way out you promised us? Hope you like volcanoes. I don't know. Even inside the bots, climbing this shaft could take days. Days? What are we supposed to do about food? Cave dwellers often live on blind grubs. They're quite nutritious. Get stuck in your teeth, though. Ooh, lovely. We need fresh water, too. Danny, what about blades? Well, he can't get much height with a damaged rotor. So, so we're, we're stuck down here? Sir, we will not allow any harm to come to your family. There has to be another way to the surface. Maybe Graham and I can create some sort of catapult device. It's too bad we can't just blast out of the volcano like lava. Blast! Yes! A giant bottle rocket! <laughs> like we made when we were kids, remember, Charlie? We ignite the Energon, then boom! We ride a platform up like a rocket-powered elevator. Will that actually work? Theoretically. Optimus, I hate to have to ask you to waste so much Energon. Chief Burns. Energon is replaceable. Human lives are not. First, we'll need to build a platform across this shaft, then plant a fuse and seal the other passages. All right, let's move it, team! Sometimes Uncle Woodrow's pretty amazing, huh, Dad? All the time. But uh, don't tell him I said that. Ready, Woodrow? Just like old times, Charlie. On my signal. One, two, three. Stop. Someone got that on camera. Woodrow? Oh, <sighs> the old creaky floorboard. <laughs> Gets me every time. Where are you running off to? I thought you were planning to stay the week. Go fishing, catch up. I was, Charlie. But all we saw, aliens, prehistoric creatures, energon. 
made me realize there's so much out there to explore. I can't waste any more time here. Like I am? I didn't say that. You're an incredible father and a great police chief. If I could be those things, <laughs> I would. But I'm an adventurer, and you're an adventurer's brother. <laughs> You be careful, Woodrow. And the next time you're in Maine, we'll have dinner waiting for you. Uncle Woodrow? Why didn't you say goodbye, Dad? That's Woodrow's way, Cody. But he's never really gone. We just keep him in a different spot. I am pleased with your progress, Sigma-17. Continue your mission. Heat wave. Heat wave, you have grown into a strong leader. I believe you are ready for greater responsibilities. Sir? Be prepared when the time comes.